Bill Gates, an entrepreneur, co-founded Microsoft, the world's largest software company, together with Paul Allen, and proceeded on to become one of the world's wealthiest men. Bill Gates, a technological pioneer, has had a long-lasting impact on personal computers. As a co-founder of Microsoft, Gates transformed the technology industry along with the way people engage with technology. His innovative thought and persistent commitment to excellence helped him enhance the current digital age, opening up a variety of exciting opportunities. Welcome back to LumaSmart. Are you a person who is afraid of failing? Or doesn't have the necessary strength to face the tough path to success? Then take a breath and watch this video. You will be inspired by the hard work these successful people have put in to achieve excellence in life. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any newly uploaded videos. Let's dive into our journey to success. Bill Gates was born in Seattle, Washington on October 28, 1955, as the son of attorney William H. Gates Sr. and Mary Maxwell, a businesswoman and bank executive who served on the University of Washington Board of Regents from 1975 to 1993. He has two sisters. Gates produced his first software program when he was 13 years old, and in high school, he worked with childhood buddy Paul Allen to computerize their school's payment system and build Trafo Data, a traffic counting system that they sold to local governments. Gates and Allen intended to establish their own company right away, but Gates's parents wanted him to graduate from high school and attend college, with the goal of becoming a lawyer in the future. In 1975, Gates, a sophomore at Harvard University in Boston, Massachusetts, collaborated with Allen, a programmer for Honeywell near Boston, to create software for the very first microcomputers, later known as PCs. They began by modifying BASIC, a widely used programming language for huge computers, starting Microsoft. Following the success of this effort, Gates left Harvard during his junior year and relocated to Albuquerque, New Mexico, with Allen to develop software for the newly growing personal computer market. In 1975, Allen founded Microsoft by combining micro from microcomputers and soft from software. Eventually, the hyphen was eliminated. In 1979, they relocated the company to Bellevue, Washington, which is just east of Seattle. Microsoft became well known for its computer operating systems and lucrative business relationships. In 1980, Gates and Allen licensed an operating system known as MS-DOS to IBM, the most prominent computer manufacturer at the time, for its first microcomputer. They were smart enough to keep the right permission to sell the operating system for different business organizations, which eventually earned these individuals revenue. Finding Achievement By 1983, when Allen left the firm for reasons of wellness, Microsoft's influence had expanded globally with headquarters in the United Kingdom and Japan, and 30% of the world's computers operating on its software. A few years ago, Gates formed a collaboration with Apple to collaborate on some common topics. Gates quickly discovered that the ordinary user preferred Apple's graphical interface, which presented text and images on the screen and was controlled by a mouse, over Microsoft's text and keyboard-driven MS-DOS system. He began an ad campaign alleging that Microsoft was creating an operating system with a graphic interface comparable to Apple's services. It would be known as Windows, and it would be compatible with all MS-DOS system software. Gates and Microsoft debuted Windows in November 1985, nearly two years after he announced it. Then, in 1989, Microsoft released Microsoft Office, which combined Office software like Microsoft Word and Excel under a single system. Personal life. In 1987, Gates, then 32, became interested in Melinda French, a 23-year-old Microsoft product manager. Melinda's energetic and tidy personality matched Gates perfectly. Their friendship deepened over time as they established both an intimate and intellectual bond. On January 1st, 1994, Melinda and Gates married in Hawaii, following his mother's tragic death from breast cancer just a few months after their wedding. They took some time off in 1995 to travel and gain a new perspective on life and the world. Jennifer is their first daughter, born in 1996. Their son, Rory, was born in 1999, and their second daughter, Phoebe, arrived in 2002. The couple declared the termination of their marriage in May 2021, recognition. 
Gates has been awarded multiple honors for his charity efforts. Time magazine called Gates one of the foremost influential persons of the 20th century. The magazine additionally selected Gates and his wife Melinda, as well as Bono, the lead vocalist of the music band U2, as Persons of the Year in 2005. Gates has multiple honorary doctorates from colleges across the world. In 2005, Queen Elizabeth II bestowed upon him the honorary title of Knight Commander of the Order of the British Empire. The Mexican government bestowed the Order of the Aztec Eagle to Gates and his wife in 2006 in recognition of their global charitable efforts in the fields of education and health. In 2016, President Barack Obama awarded the couple the Presidential Medal of Freedom in recognition of their charitable contributions. With his incredible success, he never forgot to help people in need. Gates and his wife established the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation having the goal of improving people's lives around the world, particularly in the fields of global education and health care. Keep in mind that success is not an easy past. It needs consistency, patience, dedication, and love for the task. So try your best with these magic essences, and you will be able to find the correct path to success. Now that brings us to the end of this video. Subscribe to Lumismart to learn more about how a small idea of an ordinary individual has grown into an empire over time. Let's meet again with our next video.